So this is our bathroom door and we have this neat little metal thingy with the hooks on there for bathrobes, towels and so on. Could even make this a little bit longer. But there's one problem with this one. One of the rivets gave and I might be able to fix it, but it's metal. Which is not to say that metal working isn't something I want to do at some point, but only at this point. So, let me show you what I made. I cut a piece of slat to the dimensions I need. One for the width of the hanger and two for the distance from the top of the door. I also cut two scrap pieces to practice the half laps on. And I mark all the ends where I need the half laps to go. With an X plus I make a line of how far the half lap needs to extend. I try to make it a little longer than the width of the slat just to have some more wriggle. Next I'm lowering the plate and work my way upwards, trying to find the perfect half lap height. I do this by cutting a notch at both of the test pieces, hold them together and raise the plate till I got the perfect fit. I then proceed to cut the half laps, first aligning the mark I made with the plate then continuing to make executive passes to work out the material. The whole thing would be easier using a dado stack, but I don't have one and it's quite speedy as it is. Once I'm satisfied with the half lap joints, I take the pieces over to the router to round over the edges. Just keep in mind not to round over the pieces where they sit flush against each other in the half lap joint, unless you want that to be part of your design. using metal angles to hook the piece to the door and I'm using a router bit slightly wider than these angles to hook out a shallow groove in both of the vertical pieces. I mark the, the length I need with a pencil line on my router fence but it doesn't have to be exact since you won't see it anyway. Gluing up the piece is pretty straightforward. Apply glue to all the faces of the half laps. They should be pretty self aligning. At least you should make sure that all the pieces come together without any gaps. If they're not completely at the right angle, it doesn't really matter. Just make sure to clamp them properly. While the dust dries and the glue settles, or vice versa, it's the perfect time to make the hangers. I'm using these metal angles and you can see here why metalworking isn't that high on my priority list right now. Because I just don't have the proper well, tools. But it works quite well, using a hammer to round over the piece and then the vise itself to give it the final shape. Then I'm cutting off one end make sure it fits the constraints of my door. After I cut the groove, I am using pliers to break off the piece to save me some soil. After the glue has set, I'm taking the piece back over to my router table, first trimming the pieces of the half lap flush that I cut oversized, and then redoing the round over on those with the round over. After I made sure that I could hold the piece securely, I put a round over on these parts of the half lap too. Giving the front quick sanding just to make sure that the half lap is really completely flush. Since the shortest wood screws I have are too long for the sled I'm using, I'm grinding them down. In order to make the hangers, I need holes drilled at an angle, and since my drill press table doesn't tilt that way, I'm pretty much shimming it up. It worked well enough to keep a consistent angle over all the seven holes. My table does tilt sideways, but this way I have been able to get holes in the center, so I did all the holes in this way. 
hangers, I used a piece of dowel from a scrap bin. I cut it up on the bandsaw, but I forgot to turn my camera. I put a dab of modern proof through in each hole, and put the dowels in and hammer them. It's a pretty snug fit, so I might have got away without any clear. I pre tooled from ground down screws, and I can only use the screwdriver on the top screw for so long. Eventually, the hook will prevent me from turning it in completely, so I'm using pliers to finish the job. Let me make the exchange. Doesn't shut completely, it still works, and let's put it to the test. Oh, it hasn't come down yet, and I don't expect it to, but if I did, I would have built it differently. I'm still on the fence whether I'm leaving it as it is. I should put some finish on it, but this wouldn't be the first project that I left unfinished because my wife said it works as it is. And we all know the word of the wife is the best finish you can get. Thanks for watching and remember to be inspired. Take some time to arrange your mini boards in order to get the most visually appealing result. And in my case, I didn't use the right sled and the edges.